Hello! Welcome back to La Mulana 2. I believe last time we finished up, or at least I think we finished up the Gate of the Dead. Uh, so that leaves... well... There's the, um, the Immortal Battlefield, where maybe I can go and do something. There's uh, Ice Fire Treetop, where I can probably go and do something. Or I can just look around everywhere for some of these, um, some of these sigils. Because I got those uh, last time. So, I mean, pretty much it's going to be exploration no matter what. Uh, the only question is, do I want to try to explore somewhere I haven't fully explored yet? Maybe. Because, like, I beat that boss in the treetop. Like, I beat, I beat the bird boss. Yeah, I've got this map. Ooh, okay, so there's a fairy. There's a spa. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure what much of this means. But I'm glad for the, the information. Isn't this like a poison room? I'm pretty sure this is a poison room where I die if I just climb up here. Yep, you just die if you climb up there. <laughs> so that's something I need to uh, I need to look out for. Okay. No, I don't want to save. I want to come back over to the hot spa. Because spending a quarter of a second in that room brought me down from full health, full health, to four health, which is good. So you don't go there. I'm pretty sure there was a sigil. I don't know if it's a reachable sigil. But there's definitely a sigil over this way here. Yeah, Bonicula. Forgot about you. It was not down. Not down here. Up. <laughs> Alright. You get to live, Bat. Ah! Bat! Bat! Nope, that's a fall. Come on. I sliced. Okay, these bats are getting a little out of hand. Let's just switch back to my whip. Trying to be all cool using my katana. Just use the whip. The Indiana Jones. Yeah, so there is a sigil there, but I'm pretty sure it is unreachable for me at this moment. Whoops, meant to jump. There's also that wait spot that I can't get to. Why? Why would you just fall off like that? That's not the way you do things. You do that. <laughs> Almost. 
Probably needs to be right there, a little higher than that. Probably needs to be right on that red stripe. Hup. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So now I don't need to do that every time. All right. New area. Same old area. Whoops, spikes. Got him. What do you say? There are as many mala prayer beads as worldly desires. The beads weave together those whose desires drive them to fight tirelessly, even after their lives are exhausted. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh hey, it's some of my uh some of my dad's notes. What? <laughs> he was trying to be a Dark Souls. He can't be a Dark Souls skeleton. Yeah, you know, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that was too easy. But that maybe they would give it to me anyway, but... Well. I should know this game by now. It never really says, oh yeah, here, have this. Yeah, free of charge. Go on. Just take it. It's on the house. Alright. Let's try this again. There we go. Somebody call the exterminator. Come here. Alright, and there. Not quite. Red stripe. And there. Perfect. Mystery solved. All right. So, mala prayer beads, huh? I do this. Hup, 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 hup. Ah! Right, and you. Mala prayer beads. Notes. Whoops. Why would I just jump over you and not kill? I do not know. You know what? Just gonna check. No, it's all about the fifth children. That's not gonna tell me anything about the room. What might? No, it's just the anterior chamber. Yeah. Me. I think I like that skeleton. Okay, hitting it does nothing. I don't know if I want to try to hit it on the same level. What if, though, if I try to hit it with one of these? No. Alright, I think I'll leave it for now. See where I am. Okay, I am in the top of the pit of time. Now this is the pit to heaven. Ho! Oh. There exists a gate to the spiral boat. A gate sealed by nine souls somewhere within Eggmana. Okay. Want to come back up here and grab this? Ha! Huh. Not 
not entirely sure what that did for me. Aha! It broke the floor. Oh! Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, the, these rooms are familiar. I did not mean to drop. Alright. Believe. Okay. Believe that I won't be trapped if I just drop down here. Alright, I'll believe. Huh! I didn't believe, but it all worked out anyway. That one opens. Yeah. Alright. New, new area. <coughs> Takamagara. Ta. Kazakaza. It was a very, a very long word. Uh, and it looks like I can't do anything here. Can't climb, can't jump. Okay. Taka, Takamagahara Shrine. Takamagahara. Um. What if I go and... Uh, yeah, if I do that, nothing. What if I change my mantra to be the sea? Nothing. What if I did both? Nothing. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. No. I can't read anything else in here. So, I guess I leave? Unless I can scan. Nothing. So, I guess I just leave. Okay, well we got a peek at the Taka Takamagahara Shrine. Takama... See... <laughs> I don't know where to put the uh, emphasis -es -es there. Is it Takamagahara? Or Takamagahara? Or something else? I'm not sure. Something else I'm not sure about, where I'm going, or what I plan to do when I get there. Just gotta do a little Mario jump. <coughs> right. And right next to this was the uh, trap, yes, right there. So, I'm not gonna do that. Um, you know, I really think there might be more to this treetop. This is the harp corridor. Wasn't there some... Like, there was... something. Oh, I got the golden rock. Uh, we can delete that. Um... The Lord sits on the truth um, throne and encants fire, rain upon the earth. Okay. That'll be helpful later. Two stone tablets. Traverse the corridor of blood and reach the dark star beyond. 
I might have got a phone call. Just a second. All right. Um, so I'm trying to find the corridor of blood. That was an end. I remember. That. It was um up here. Not up here, but the next screen. Right? No. Where was Corn Man? The Corn Men were in here, right? Weren't they? Were they? No, I'm all confused. Were they in Valhalla? Hey, I know how I can check. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So I need to go to Valhalla. Which is from the Divine Fortress. Okay. We're getting there. Because I figure I could use that feather to get other things. So I'll, I'll try to traverse the Corridor of Blood. Uh, it's not this way. I'll do my best to do that. Moin. 
That's not... That's not a death sound. Why did I say... Why did I go boing? When I killed that guy. You know, one of life's great mysteries, I suppose. Alright, and, uh... Whoops. Um, I ended up reading something that I think Future Development Company is what gives you the ability to, uh, to use these. Yeah. Yeah, so now I have this second ring. So now I can just go straight to Valhalla. Um, can I only do that if that's in there? Yes. Okay. Good to know. If I want to come to Valhalla, I need to use the Future Development Company. I, you know, I guess that's just a death sound now. Boing is just a death sound. In my mind. I don't know what that says about me, what I might have experienced as a child, but I don't think I want to know. Anyway, let's come to the Corridor of Blood. Whoa. Where we've got this awesome music. Corridor of Blood Traversed. It's just that easy. Yeah. Corridor Traversed. <laughs> Done. Trying to the Frost Giants. I don't have a map of this place? Yes, I do. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I do. Alright lady who I don't know how to murder. Woo, money! The supernatural being Baylor awaits beyond the eternally frozen sealed lands. Baylor keeps guard over the garb handed down by the Anunnaki. Those who seek to don the garb must pass the swir pillar of swirling light, for then neither heat nor cold shall ail them. Alright, sounds like I'm on the path of the Ice Cape then. At least, Ice Cape from the first game. Uh, hello there, Tetskalapkipigetbets. Thank you for crushing me. <laughs> Alright. You know, this game is this weird amalgamation of, like, Egyptian, Norse, uh, Aztec, all that. It's interesting. That's for sure. so much from that. Now, Supernatural being Balor, Balor, Balor. I don't know where your weak point is. Is it your head? Is it your head? No? Is it your... No? Is it your tail? I wish I could hit you to find out. 
I honestly have no clue how to hurt this guy. <laughs> okay. So that's a thing. <clears throat> Do I need to, like, use Earth Spears? To... To damage his soft underbelly? Perhaps? I don't know why I just walked into that bat. Not the greatest of ideas I've ever had. Okay. Like, I don't... I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that guy. Hold on. Is this some kind of thing I can look at? No. Yeah. Get the drop on him. Gotcha. They are. Uh, da -da -dum. So let's see. I mean, I've got a gun. I could just shoot him. <coughs> but from what I've seen, there's literally limited ammo for the gun. So let's try these Earth, earth Spears first. On Tezcatlipoca. Hup! Okay, how about. Hup! 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 No? You just can't be hurt? You just can't be hurt? Is that the deal? Is that the deal, Tez Cat the Puck the Puck? Huh. Huh. Nope. Hmm. I meant to jump there. What if I gave you a little katana slice? No. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit like. If you like my commentary or gameplay, hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.